<sighs> well, I'm all ready for my concert. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Oh, don't you look pretty? Thanks. So you're definitely going to meet me and Caitlin at the concert? Yes, honey. I, I promise. I'll be there. I'm just going to be a little late. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to be there until the concert starts. I don't really feel like sitting in the audience for about a half hour waiting for you to get ready. Um, when I have all this work to do. But I'll meet you. And Kay my friend Kaylin's going to pick you up. Oh, that's good. I like Kaylin. And Christy said she's coming too. That's great, honey. Yeah, I'm really excited. But I'm especially excited that you're going to be there. Yes. Well, um... Beep, beep. Oh, that's Kaylin. You better get going. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you after the concert, Mom. Okay, and we'll go out to dinner or something afterwards, okay? Thanks, Mom. Okay. Break a leg. Thanks. Beep, beep. Coming. Hi, Kaylin. Hi. Come on, get in. Hi, Larissa. Hey, Chrissy. I didn't know you were riding with us. Yes, I figured I'd pick, pick her up so that um, her and I could sit together. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. So, Mom said she's going to meet, meet you at the concert. Yeah, I know. I just spoke to her on the phone. Great. So, are you nervous? All right. Let everybody buckle up. <laughs> I am a little, but I know I'm going to do fine. Yeah, you always do great in voice recitals. And you did good in your gymnastics meet the last one. Thanks. Yeah, you have a lot of good stage projects. I wish I was a performer, but I'm not. And I can't perform, really. <laughs> That's okay. Is your dad going to be there? No, he's on a business trip. Oh. So how are you and your dad getting along? Well... I don't know. I mean, it still feels funny, and I still don't think of him as my dad because he left us and everything. I can understand that. Yeah. Yes, but he is your father, Larissa. I know it's hard for you to accept, but yeah, I know. It's just kind of weird. Yeah. My mother, that's who I need. My mother, that's who I need. Yay! Very good, very good. Bravo, bravo. Thank you. You did great. Thanks. You know, I didn't see your mother in the audience. I didn't see you either. But I saw Kaylin and I saw Christy. I guess I'm glad they're here. Yeah, I wanted to meet your mother. Yeah, I wanted you to meet her too. She promised she'd be here. Well, don't worry. You still did a good job. And I'm sure your mother will still will still be proud of you. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll see you um in like on on Monday. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good job, kiddo. Thanks. Oh my gosh, she did so good. Yeah, even though we're popular and she's not, she still did really good. Yeah. Oh, sweetie, you did wonderful. Come give me a hug. Thanks, Kaylin. What are you guys doing here? We wanted to see, hear you sing. I mean, we may not be friends, but we like hearing you sing. Well, thank you for supporting me. Yeah, we felt kind of bad for what we did to you and Christy, and we're sorry. It's okay. I got more important things on my mind, to be honest with you. Oh my gosh! 
Louisa, you did so well. Thanks. Where's my mom? Oh, she couldn't make it. She had um an emergency at work. Her bo she got too caught up in work, so she um couldn't come. She called me and she told me to tell you that she's proud of you. Well, enough chit chat. Come on, I'll take you guys out for something to eat. Actually, I'd like to go straight home. Oh, come on! This is this is the day where it's all about you. This is the day where it's all about you. You're gonna, you, you deserve to get to get a treat after this. Okay, I'll go just to be polite. It's better than nothing. Come on. Okay, just let me get my things. Okay. She's really bummed out. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. Hello, we're back. Hi, Kaylin. Hi. How did my daughter do? She did well, but you can ask her yourself. Hi, hi, Larissa. How did you do at your concert? Why didn't you come? You said you would come. I'm sorry, honey. I got caught up at work. But you promised you'd be there. Honey, I'm sure you did well. Why don't we sit down and have a cup of hot chocolate? No, I want to go to my room. Larissa. <sighs> She's mad at me. Listen, Hannah. As your best friend, I'm going to be honest with you. What are you talking about? I don't blame Larissa for being angry with you. You did promise you would be there. That's why I was so cold on you on the phone when you called and said you couldn't make it. Do you have any idea how hard it was for me to break the news to, to Larissa? And... Uh, well, I'll make it up to her. I think you should go talk to her. I mean, I know your work is important to you, but you shouldn't ignore your daughter. I am not ignoring her. Yes, you are. You are always breaking promises to her, and that's not a good thing. I'm not going to be nice to you about this one. Larissa was counting on you when you let her down. Who the heck do you think you are telling me how to raise my daughter? I'm not telling you how to raise your daughter. I'm give, telling you things that you should know already. Don't ignore your daughter. I am not ignoring her. Yes, you are. I'm going to go in her room and talk to her. Oh, good. You, are you going to tell her to forgive me? She needs support, and she's obviously not going to get it from you. Louis, honey, it's Kaylin. Can I come in? <sighs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Were you crying? Can you blame me for crying? No. You really wanted your mom there, didn't you? Yeah. That song that I sang? Yes, it was a beautiful song. You sing it very well. Well, I should be able to sing it well. I wrote that for her. You wrote her that song? Yes, and I wrote it because she was finally going to come to my concert. And she promised, so I wrote a song dedicated to her. And she wasn't there to hear it. And now I'm sorry I ever wrote that song. Don't say that. Your mother loves you very much. It's hard to believe. 
it's hard to believe that she loves me because she, it just literally just seems like her job is a lot more important than me. Honey, I know it seems that way, and I don't blame you for being upset. But your mother really does love you. I mean, she's working hard just so she could support you. I don't need money or things. I don't need her to make money for me. I need her to be an actual mom. Well, part of being a mom is working. Look, if you're telling me to go out there and forgive her, don't bother because I'm not going to. I don't blame her. Blame you. I mean, I'd slam her against the door. Good. Because I'm not going to forgive her. Good for you. Because I know that not forgiving her is going to change the situation. Where are you going with this? Well, whatever your mind tells me, I'm going. Think about it. I hate it when she goes fortune cookie on me. So how is she doing? She's pretty upset, but I think I'm beginning to reason with I think I began to reason with her. That's good. Will you get your eyes off of that darn laptop and listen? Alright. I do have a lot of work to do. You know what, Louis is right. You do seem to care more about your work than your daughter. That is not true. Well, then get your mind off of your work for two seconds and realize what your daughter needs. I make money so I can take care of her. I understand that, but that's only part one of being your mother. I brought her into this world. Exactly. If you don't have time to have a kid, then why did you have one? Excuse me? I am just tired of being the back seat. Like the substitute mother. I have taken care of her more than you have. And she's not even my child. I realize that your job is important to you. But you can't ignore your daughter. Listen. Kaylin. No. You listen to me for once. When I went to Larissa's room just before. She told me that the song she was singing for the recital was going to be a surprise for you. She wrote a song just for you. And she said that now that you broke up your promise for this probably isn't the first time you've broken a promise to her. She wrote that this song that practically brought tears to my eyes and it wasn't even dedicated to me. But when she told me that it was dedicated to you, I broke down practically because... She wrote it for you and you weren't there to hear it. And, and then she said she was sorry she wrote it because you haven't been a mother to her. She said that? Yes, she did. I better go talk to her. Thank you. No. Thank you for making me realize what a bad mother I've been. You're not a bad mother. You just need to be a full-time mother. I'll be back. <sighs> Come in. Hi, Larissa. So you finally found time away from your computer to come talk to me? Okay. Okay. I deserve that. I know. I'm really sorry, honey. I really let you down. Mom? Yes, honey? Don't you love me? Of course I love you. Well, it just seems like you like your job more than you like me. And it really hurts to think that way. Because I'm probably hurting your feelings by thinking that way, but it hurts me too. And I was really counting on you to be there tonight. I know you were. And I 
promise. Don't say you promise because you don't keep your promises. Or what if I say that I will try my best to have more time for you? It's just that you're 11 years old. I just didn't think. What didn't you think? I'm 11, yes, and yes, I want some independence, if that's where you're going with this. But I need a mother, too. My father, I lost my father when I was a baby. I don't want to lose my mother, too. I'm sorry, honey. Well, I'm still really mad at you, but it doesn't mean that I'll never forgive you. Because if I don't, I lose you. And I don't want to lose you. I know you don't. And I don't want to lose you. I know you've been having a hard time lately. And the truth is, I want to be honest with you. But once you're going to be honest with me, Larissa, please just listen to me. Okay? What do you need to tell me? <sighs> The thing is, I've been working a lot because um, I've been trying to distract myself from the loss of your father, even though we met him recently. I've just been overwhelmed, and working helps me forget. I understand that, Mom. But don't forget that you, you have me. You have me, and I'm not going to leave you. Thank you, Larissa. I appreciate that. It's just been really hard for me because your father has not been a father and I just thought that I wouldn't be enough. Are you kidding, Mom? You've been with me for 11 years of my life. The first 11 years of my life, you were always there for me. But ever since we met Dad, things have changed. You're more than enough for me. Just because... Just because... I met my dad recently doesn't mean that I'm going to forget your love. But it seems like it's the other way around. You're forgetting to love me. Honey, I do love you. And I am so sorry that I hurt you. Well, now that you explained things, I guess I understand a little better. I just miss you. I will do my best to have more time for you. I can't promise you that things will change overnight. I'm not delusional. Neither am I. Would you like to, um, Kaylin's in the kitchen. Would you like to, um, go in and have a cup of hot chocolate and we can talk? Yeah, I like that. Okay, come on. <laughs>